Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Uh, I'm in Ghana and uh, this is, uh, I think this is my fourth day. I lose track of the days, but today we went down to um, Elmina Castle and uh, the door of no return. And uh, that was a big deal. Um, uh, today was a big deal for a lot of reasons. Uh, the rapper T.I. was actually in our group with us. I didn't talk to him a whole lot. Uh, he was with his wife, Tiny, and I guess they were uh, touring part of us, part of our group. But uh, it was really not about really talking uh, to each other as much as um, really uh, experiencing this castle. You know, this castle was very, uh, it was very emotional, you know, as, as people can imagine. You know, I first, when I first got there, um, I cried, obviously. You, you're supposed to cry, I believe, in that castle because it's so, if you empathize with what your ancestors went through, um, you gotta, you, you have to shed a tear for them because uh, the conditions were so hor horrific. Uh, that you can't imagine a human being surviving in that space. Um, uh, also, in fact, the the uh, the ground, uh, the floor was actually covered with um, actually the uh, packed in remains of of your ancestors that were stuck in this uh, dungeon, uh, meaning that they had to uh, pee on themselves and defecate on themselves and be in these little spaces for months and months and months. And uh, it's really just a just a terrible feeling. But a worthy trip. Uh, you don't smell it, of course. It's not, you know, it's hundreds of years old, but it's it's a terrible uh, thing to feel. Um, and I think everybody needs to go through that. Uh, so the, first, there are the tears I shared. Uh, I shed it, you know, to connect with what they went through. Um, and then there's the other part of me that really thought about the fact that many of us, uh, all of us, we're, we're the survivors of the people. We are the descendants of the people who chose to survive. You know, uh, it would have been easier to die, uh, not easy, easier to die than to live. Um, your ancestors chose to live. Your ancestors went through something you can't even imagine. And um, and I just hope that it encourages you not to waste your life. You know, when I started really thinking about it, I started thinking about the way the world is and how horrible men and women, how horrible man can be to other men and other women when you've been conquered. Uh, and the problem for you black people right now is that you are a conquered people. We are a conquered community. We are conquered, you know, in, in every way. We are conquered physically and economically, mostly socially, psychologically, and otherwise. And uh, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be conquered no more. Um, I don't know about you, but I want to actually engage in massive economic warfare. You know, I don't know about you, but I actually want to build a, an economic army, uh, meaning that of children that understand systems, understand coming together to do business. Uh, there's no excuse for our children to grow up not knowing how to read, not knowing how to write, not knowing how to do math. Your child should never know more about throwing a football than he knows about starting a business. Your child should never know more about dribbling a basketball than he knows about investing. Uh, your child should never know more about rapping and dancing and all these other things than he knows about economic strategy and forming a solid economic foundation for his family. And so basically right now when I look at Africa, I see a space that um, where I'd like to make a contribution. I'm going to tell you guys more about it. I talked to some of the elders in the villages and I'm, I'm going to get some land here and make some moves here and I'll tell you more about it as we go along. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being conquered. Uh, you know, and that's, that's what that castle did for me. That castle, I did get sad, but being sad ain't going to do shit. Being sad ain't going to change a goddamn thing. You got to get angry and you got to stand up and you got to say enough of this nonsense. As black people, we can be strong. As black people, we can be unified. And as black people, we can move forward. And as black people, we can coordinate. We can build. We can do anything white people can do. So stop. So why are you fucking around? Why are you sitting around? Why are we letting our damn kids graduate from school and can't even read? Seriously, why are you? Why we got all these people out here talking about I love money but don't know nothing about economics on any level or planning an economic strategy? Why are you sitting around spending all your time complaining about what, what white people are doing to you instead of doing something to counter that? If you cannot do something to counter that, then I'm sorry, people. I hate to say it. I know I sound like a defeatist, but God damn it, you are volunteering for slavery. Don't volunteer for slavery. Volunteer for freedom. So that's what I got from out of the castle. If you want to know what my raw emotion was, I walked up out of that son of a bitch saying, hey, you ain't you ain't doing this to me ever. This is this this part of the history is over. Just be just be glad that God blessed me with enough grace to not do that to you. That's how I felt when I went to this castle today. I'm out of here, guys. Um, the hashtag I'm using on social media, my Instagram, you can follow the trip. Uh, my Instagram is the real Boyce Watkins. I'm taking lots of pictures and video and sharing lots of uh, thoughts and perspectives. And also um, the hashtags I'm using are Dr. Boyce of Ghana and Dr. Boyce Africa, because I certainly am going to go visit even more African countries. I've been to South Africa, Botswana, uh, Nigeria, and now Ghana, and I'm going to keep going to other countries. I'm, uh, gonna get around a little bit, so I'll tell you guys about that later. So please hit the thumbs up button, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget also visit the blackbusinessschool.com, T H E, that's the blackbusinessschool.com, uh, if you want to get started on your financial literacy journey and everything else that you want to do. Let's build our own people. We can do this. Talk to you soon. Love you. Peace.